Kotsatsu. In order to push to Heroku, we realized that we needed to have all of our changes that we want in the in the um, the master branch of our local repo. Now, in order to grab all the all those changes that we made in our new branch, um, we put we put this this command: git pull origin name of branch editing admin tab. And now we're going to go into our actual repo, and we can see that all that text that was there a second ago is now gone. So every time that you make changes to your, to your GitHub repos and your GitHub branches, it's automatically going to change the files within that specific directory. So hopefully that makes some that makes some sense. And I'll even I'll even uh, um, push the point home a little bit more. If I do git branch right now. I see that I have a branch called nicer design, okay? And if I go to that branch, git checkout nicer-design, okay? Have a look at what the page currently looks like here. Oh, no, not this one. This is what the page currently looks like on the master on the master branch of localhost, okay? Now, if I go to git checkout nicer design, switch to branch have a look at this all of a sudden I got all this other junk back okay the, the stuff that I didn't want okay I do nodeman I start up my server there it is okay here's my server awesome oh have a look at that. All of a sudden, it's listening on port 8000 now, right? Because there was some changes. Okay, so now I actually need to go to localhost 8000 to get back to my app. Okay. Oh. Something here doesn't even work on localhost 8000. I don't know why. Let's see. So bottom line is that it's not very good. Slash home slash list. Okay. Uh, look, okay, something was broken here. Okay, so this specific branch really is terrible. We need to cancel it and go back to our other branch. Get checkout master. Okay. Master is the branch that we're actually interested in. And have a look at what happens here. All of a sudden that text that was there a second ago, it gets removed. And if I do nodeman server.js. There was several files that were changed the moment that I switched between the branches. So that's really what it's good for. All of a sudden, I make I, I make make changes to one specific branch. Something gets broken. It's okay. I can go back to the previous commit, or I can go back to a, another branch. So I'm back over here. Uh, no, it's not on localhost 8000. As you can see in our terminal, we're back on on port 80. So we're going to refresh this page. And bada boom, bada boom, everything works good now. And so that's good. So we can push everything here to Heroku now. Git push Heroku master. Let's do a git at all just in case. Git commit dash m Heroku rocks. Git push Heroku master. Okay, have a look at what our Heroku looks like now. Right now we've got all this garbage here that we want to get rid of. And every time that you push to Heroku, it does a complex process of pushing your node app up and doing a bunch of other changes. So that's going to take about 30 seconds. Let's wait around. 